Hi, I'm Ashley Adamson, and today we're going to talk about just be yourself. I find this, I got this in a comment in a video that I posted last week about um, femininity and how they were saying, well, you don't have to just pursue femininity or masculinity as a pursuit of things. You don't have to seek it out to try and get there. That's not being yourself. To be like, I think it was the late stage trans video. She's like, I've been transitioned for 10 years now. And what I've learned is you don't need to try and be more feminine or ma more masculine. You just be yourself. And that's true. Just be yourself. But I think someone who's transitioned 10 years has forgotten that when you start your transition, you don't know yourself. Like, do you know yourself? Where are you on your transition? And what was that process like in the beginning? This is kind of like what I find to be the problem with just be yourself. And I think this can be generally applied to everyone. Being yourself, is the quality of which you can be yourself is a function of how well you can be, how well you know yourself. I'll say that again. The quality of being yourself is a function of knowing yourself. And knowing yourself is the hard part. Because when you go through this process of puberty and being a kid and growing up and processing all the things that you did and what happened, you're figuring out who you are. And a lot of times you don't really know who you are until you hit something like 25, 30, or you think you know you are. And this is the thing is being yourself when you think you know who you are is not really being yourself. It's being someone else because you're emulating the personality traits of someone else and you're reappropriating them within yourself and trying to make it a thing. You may be obsessed with what other people think about you. That's not you being yourself, right? So just being yourself is something that just doesn't work. You can't just tell someone to be themselves. You have to help them through their process or you know, help yourself through this process of finding yourself. And the best way of finding yourself, and let me know if you think this is true, the best way of finding yourself is to push yourself in directions to try out things and see where you land. Uh, you know, like go out hiking, go out into the wilderness, go out dancing, do things that are pushing your comfort level a little bit. Because when you do that, you kind of move yourself on this threshold where you go, okay, I'm scared, or this is a new thing. And then I push myself there. And maybe this was a little too far. But now when I push myself a little too far, I found myself where I'm comfortable. And what I mean by this in a very tangible way is if you're a trans woman, for example, that first time you put on makeup, did you have to put yourself to do it? Was there some kind of, ooh, I'm scared about it, or I'm maybe going out and buying makeup or buying your, your first dress? There's all of these fears involved with doing these things, but you find yourself in this process. And so when I think about for you and, and what we're thinking about with femininity and masculinity, it's not just it's not superficial to pursue femininity or masculinity. It's a process. Push yourself into feminine spaces or masculine spaces and push yourself further than what you normally would do. That's not fake. It's just finding your own place, your own center and where you wanna be. And when you find that, then you learn how to be yourself because you say, this is where I wanna land. This is my comfortable place. This is the place where I wanna be. And people who are 10 years on their transition and much further along, when they say just be yourself, it's easy for them to say because they've figured out where their center is and then they can just stay there right where they want to be. But when you're starting out on your transition, you really do need to figure out where you stand and who you are and you kind of press your boundaries left and right to find that. Yeah. So... Let me know your thoughts in how you like to find yourself and what's really worked for you. I think a lot of people down there in the comment section would also appreciate your thoughts and sharing that. 
Thank you for joining me today and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.